and our heroic hunter returns back to Cathar after a quick, cheeky, high-ranked sabbatical. It can't have been that long, can it? He muses as he steps through the archway. Oh my god, spitting boy! How many years has it been? I'm a village older now. Oh, you're still doing that. Normally, as you get older, you have less spittle to work with. That's amazing. I saved it up for this moment so I could do on you. Is everyone okay? I thought it'd only been a couple of days. No, everyone has the frenzy. No, oh, is that why you're glowing with evil intent? No, now you have frenzy too. I'm spreading it with spit. Frenzy spit. Oh, oh no. Please don't bathe in it. I must push onwards. Maybe there's something I can still do. Uh, hey guys. Hey, how's it going? This is totally normal. So, uh, all good? Yes. Still emergency? Uh, I mean, I, I guess so. Probably less of an emergency than it was a couple days ago. I'm HR6 now. I don't care about that. I'm a, I'm a caravan. You're, you're a caravan. I'm a caravan. Do you contain things? People. Can I see your inside people? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Whoa, that's weird, man. How weird is that, Julius? It's not weird. It's how my people move. <laughs> you make it sound like the Ace Hunters of the Carabineers Pokemon team. <laughs> I mean, sort of, but less wholesome. This looks like a job for Ace Lancer. Go! Oh, Chestbuster style. How am I going to fix that? Welcome back, everybody, to Cathar with its frenzy problems and the open door. So now we must talk to the Elder because he's not getting any younger. And if we don't do it soon, he might die. Probably already did. This is probably the new Elder. <laughs> Spit boy is in the cave. That's not a good sentence. What I was about to say is what if it was like, regardless of how long it's been, what if it is just the spit boy and this whole time it was just like a ruse? He, he <laughs> greets you as you enter, but he's actually the most important person. As we walk gloriously across the bridge, we remember the battle's past, the discovery of the frenzy, the mysterious Gormagala. We think how much farther do we have to go? And you can I really can't go down this how bridge. far away this invisible wall is actually. This is kind it's, of it's insane. Pretty, the prompt has been yeah, on screen for like 30 seconds. Okay, here it is. I think it's really <laughs> dramatic. No! <laughs> Why have you stopped following me, cameraman? It's a scary bridge. I, I, I think it would break if I stood on it. You are holding a lot of equipment. That's fair enough. Why does he have a monster intro cutscene? Because he's a monster. That's rude and or racist. Or accurate. Okay. I mean, he's descended from wyverns. It's just sort of the thing. He looks so smug. He also looks a lot younger than the, than the other guy. Yeah, he's just sat there like... Ah, it's nice in this cave. Permanently spinning pinwheel. It's, you know, it's a, it's it's peaceful. It's dramatic. It's... Why is there even wind in here? The Elder. Okay. I mean, the Grand Guru. The Grand Guru. Nobody needs a collar that poppin'. Sorry for the imposing introduction. After all, you and I have already met. That was me killing the field. You killed me, you son of a bitch! Only so that this future would come to pass. I thought I recognized your massive nose! I don't like that. To make a long story short, the previous Grand Guru stepped down and I got the- You're saying you I got told the you we were from farmer to guru in the couple days we were on break? I told you we took too long. We did take too long, that's bad. A black I, I, uh, look, I, I'll be honest, this is exhausting. This is really exhausting. Yeah, I don't know why you've decided on this. <laughs> it just seemed like a tranquil elder voice, you know? There's ways to do it that aren't like using every bit of breath in your body for every word. All right, off you go. But looking back at the records through that new lens. Oh, you're, you're not, you're on the same step as me. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. That was that was. The uh, elder dragon has broken through the sigil gate and entered the sanctuary. Yeah, right, that's not bad. That's all right. That's okay. It never even crossed my mind that the calamity history mentions might have been caused by him. Are you sure? Because like everything that goes wrong in this entire universe is generally because of an elder dragon shenanigizing. But looking back at the record through that new lens, I must say I find the theory utterly convincing. Oh, Grand Guru! Only the people of Kithar sealed the Elder Dragon's lair to prevent it from infecting every creature around it. 
everyone in the village is just like, wow, what are those cool sounds coming out of the cave? Do you know the song of Cathar, Hunter? It's an old song. Oh my god. It comes with a music video. <laughs> Apparently it does. If ever eyes of darkness widen, the light from yonder light soon from will yonder break. Light from yonder soon will break. But if the land the light should brighten, a shadow wanders in its wake. If dawn is sent to slay the night and chase its minions underground, then when dust makes the day take flight beneath its pinions, night rebounds. But do not cry, my sons and daughters, life must leave to come again. When and it does, it, does, it springs like, like water, a great reprieve to end all pain. All pain. pain. And and then we're all gonna die. The swamp swells to refrain. Oh no, heaven's wheel. <laughs> turn, turn, be my heel. Turn, no, heaven's wheel. Heaven's wheel. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, to be fair, he was a farmer two days ago. You have by permission to enter the sanctuary. I mean, I've just met you, Grand Guru. That's a bit forward. Well, no, we've met him before. He was the farmer. Oh, that's true. Fair enough, then. He, he was, he's been watching that. you for some time. <laughs> My god. So, here is the reveal. Your guess was Seregios scale. And you were wrong! Yeah, I figured that. No, well, you didn't. You guessed Seregios scale. Yeah, and then I tried to guess some other stuff. He was like, you have to commit. And I was like, okay. At no point did you say Shagaru. I'm pretty sure I did, actually. And then I was like, eh, nah. Play the clip. It's a regio scale. Is that your final answer? Um, piece of corn that was eaten by a Seregios and then came out the other end gold. I have a little theory. Maybe the sanctuary is its home. It really, is that your theory? After it's gone to the sanctuary, after malting. Is that your... How did you come up with that cracker? It's okay, Carabineer. We can go home after we've murdered this new new life form. Or we can go home now and deal with it later. Oh, that sounds fun. Doodle, doodle, woo, listen. She's got a song too. But yeah, isn't that neat though? From the very beginning of the game, he was holding a, a Shagru Megala scale and now it's come full circle like a wheel. What? There's no way that it would ever be re related to the, to, the, to the late boss of the gaming game. It says proceed immediately to the sanctuary and eliminate the Elder Dragon. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess, I guess what else can we do then? Don't you worry, Doodle is on the case. Doodle is the case. Doodle is is the best case scenario. They call me scenario because I'm the, the best case. Okay. I'm trying to be cool, man. All right. It's, all right. I feel like you're not awed by my doesn't, presence. Doesn't seem as cool as you wanted it to be. Oh, here we go. Advanced Heaven's Wheel. You've never seen a monster like this before. Well, I mean, don't try and reinvent the wheel. Look, you're all clearly more powerful than us. Why don't you go kill it? Yeah, you can just freeze time and murder it while it's happening. Teach you not protected to do our part to keep you seven protected, but now the rest is up to you. Come back safe. Carve him up like a scale fish. And when you get home, I'll have a special celebration meal waiting. Time to close the sale, Hunter. I'll be right here rooting for you. Go get him, Doodle. Oh, sorry, what's the sale in particular at this moment? I don't know. Turn now, Heaven's Wheel. It's his turn, all right, to get his keys to kick. Oh, Garibadia. Inside out. You can't. Make sure you get your uh, protective flame. I didn't do that, but I got everything else. Well, looks like you're going to have a much harder time than I will. Oh, this is it. This is the original Shagaroo Magala. Hello, it's me. Oilers. Sorry, it could be any monster. Right. It's taken away my protective flame. Well, it does have a lot of all-encompassing dark. I bet your cutscene is being ruined by how silly your face is. You mean my helmet? By how silly your helmet is. Oh, Shagaru, look at you. The fact that I have no facial reaction, because we didn't have that yet in the fourth gen, is just so... Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, anticlimactic. Like, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a dragon right there. Cool. That looks like a dragon. Oh, cool dragon. Oh, awfully bright dragon you got there. But oh, oh, the star bit. Oh, that's so... Oh, look. Oh, glorious. Right. Look at him showing off. And like, look my wings, look my wings, look how bright my wings are. Okay, fight time. This, I think this is how they mate. Ooh. I have thought myself a Shagaroo recently. <laughs> that is just a That's deep, passive face, like. What? <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> you. Oh, -ho! guess who hit it in the face of a torch multiple Was times? It you, perhaps. Okay, fine. I will fight it with my sword. You've twisted my arm. Stop it. Stop. Let go! Oh, I've been pinned. You're pinned already? 
Yeah, you did the pin attack, and I got hit. Right at the start of the fight? God damn, you guys must have some chemistry. I am the one and only. I've got and... an electric pony. It's powered by batteries only. What? Do you not appreciate my song? I don't understand your song in the first... Do you not speak English? Get... Get what? Get this! Um, uh, for reference, an October Shagaru Magala, as I said that, making it an impactful statement. Is that supposed to be relevant to me? It's supposed to be elephant to you. I'm not an elephant. What's an elephant to you, man? Tell me. Uh, big gray creature, trunk, uh, four legs. Correct. Five points. Yeah! <laughs> What's a giraffe to you? A uh, big, great creature, uh, long, long trunk, four legs. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. What? Yeah, I was looking for big, tall creature, yellowy, long neck. Isn't that what a trunk is? Depends on your definition of tree. Big, gray creature, long trunk, four legs. I would be horrified <laughs> if trees were were gray and had trunks coming well, out. Well, they do of have them. trunks coming out of them, depending on no, what you like can. No, trunks they're... out there, are trunks. Those are just called branches. Like, imagine if trees could grab you. Oh, Ents. <laughs> you want Ents, because this is how you get Ents. Ow! God, I'm really happy that this is this is low rank, because I am being sloppy. <laughs> you okay? I got jump scared by carting. I mean, the, I mean I'm mean, i pretty impressed that you carted to this, given our armor situation. Well, yeah, that's that's why it jumps. Like, like you... you the evidence for how much of a surprising situation it was for me to have carted uh -huh. is, is there by the uh, the sheer horror that it inflicted upon me mentally. <laughs> Fair. I'll be honest, the whole hand situation really took up like a good 90% of my, <laughs> of my brain power. <laughs> yeah, thinking's hard. It really is, man. Oh, he's dead. Well, no wonder he killed you. He was just—he was just feeling upset that that he was getting—you were getting left out. Oh, we have saved the day from Smuggler. I've just been stuck in a circle in a corner. Like I might die, and it's because he just put a circle in a corner and then stuck me in it. So I'm just permanently taking lots of I'm, damage. I'm struggling to understand the geometry of circle in the corner. Well, there's a corner, and then there's a circle in it, and I can't get out of the corner because he keeps attacking. So I have to stay in the corner. But if a circle is against a corner, then the circle can't cover the entire corner because it's a right angle with a circle pressed against it. So there's a couple zones of negative space. You do realize that. Zones in Monster Hunter aren't rectangular, right? I don't understand the question. Like, when I say corner, I'm not referring to a 90 degree well, angle. Well, then don't use the word corner, Edge. No, you're a corner. The Monster Hunters will now encounter a new monster. <laughs> See, I just feel really bad now, because it's just a bunch of felines adventuring. Is and that a shaggy room? Why, Meowster? Oh, shit! Oh, now we get a giant celebratory cinematic. Look. It's the dead body of Shagaru Magala I, I against would, a beautiful I would, but I'm still fighting. You just sort of sunset. went for it. Sir, roll in my victory with I me. I can't. I'm trying not to die. Well, look. It's a new article. It's all coming together. The caravaneer standing here, holding his scale. His lifelong mission accomplished. The birds celebrating overhead, the whale ship crying out in joy, Cathar free of the nightmare, the crew packing up ready for their next adventure. It's all beautiful. Oh, that's a really old goblin. It's all beautiful. Oh, that's a really young child slave. It's all beautiful, and we're ready for success wherever it may be found. Goodbye, weirdos on top of the mountain. I hope we never have to come back Goodbye, here again. Goodbye, mountainous weirdos. You goddamn murderous farmers spitting frog slaving people. Now they're all waving at a wooden whale. I think it's real, I bet. That's what I would do. <laughs> just imagine the caravan crew on the ship just, just laying into Cathar as they <laughs> set off peacefully <laughs> into the sunset. Because, of course, those were all like transferred thoughts. It's not like I was thinking any of those things. No, it was the Cathar. Yeah. It was, it like was the, the Caravania crew. The Traverians all peaceful. Lava flowing again. I've just noticed that the smithy looks like the chief's face. It's got the eyes and the mouth and the... That's so cool. Little Miss Forge gone home. Oh, Still looks like she has no teeth though. It's Cheeky Chico Sands and an army of cats. And soon they will be ready to march on the rest of the Monster Hunter world. 
Dun, dun, dun. They train long into the night, preparing for that fateful day. God, there is so many. Well, yeah, how else will they take over the world? It's actually a little bit concerning. My God, and this one has the speed force. <laughs> this is a freeze frame moments after he burnt himself. Well, Habar, the way Borium returns to. It's uh, kind of sad, actually. Everyone kind of goes back to where they were from and disbands the caravan. Now everybody's brawling. The caravan's whole point was to find out what was up with this dude's weird golden scale thing. Now he doesn't care. Everyone go home. It looks like bloody zombies. That's the last I ever saw of the Wyborium. Ah, oh, doodles, doodles. Oh, look at them. They're so good. They're better than Minota and Minotibus by far. That's mean. Tiny Cowboy get involved. <laughs> He's dead. And then the big C himself. Oh no, it's Ace Hunters themselves first. Yeah, that's that's their boat. After another gen, because that's about their level. Silly Ace Hunters. Couldn't even take out a Gormagala. And a Rathalos. And a good old Rathalos. Our Palico left. It's the Lancer and our Palico. He's been stolen. And people were mad at the Handler. <laughs> for hugging a Palico. <laughs> Why are they just fighting a random Rathalos? Fun! Oh, it really is a good little, little emotional wrap-up. And there he is. That damn smile. It all started with that damn smile. Where where are we? We're we're trudging through Valhabar. Oh, what's this? Everybody's back together again? It was just a dream. 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 I'm gonna say it was just a ruse. <laughs> it was a ruse. It was all part of a heist. Hey! Arr! Yeah, Caravan, I, I get what you're saying. Ah, uh, cool scale, man. Look, I love this. Look at this scale. <laughs> okay, if I'd have seen it in that quality the first time, I would have gotten it 100%. All right, that's chapter one down. But what's next for this plucky band of adventurers named Caravan with a capital C? We'll never know because we're now going to just stop the story. Oh, sorry. I guess Cotton spoke to everybody. That's, uh... That's that. That's but, the end. Bye. Um, very sad now. It doesn't take long to get here in the context of the G-Rank game still ahead of us, but it still makes me very emotional because I remember seeing that the first time and I was very emotional because all these characters are cool characters and Monster had a story for the first time. And, and now they're dead. And, wow. What happened? You saw the cutscene. They were fine. Not all of them. What do you mean, not all of them? They died. Zombies. Yeah, he seems just a zombie. <laughs> like, day one spread. No, but like, if we could actually examine Guildmam's doodles, they are top. Like, her Tigrex is all head, and that is how Tigrex should actually look. Her Kezu was 90% lips. Yeah, it was so funny! Imagine the smack of that thing licking its I don't lips. want to. I already have my problems with Kezu. Just slowly going round its big lippy more. <laughs> No. Hey, Caravania. Why are you getting out? I don't want to see it again. I don't I, I don't need to see it again. I'm so glad the capital C met you. We couldn't have found anyone that's, better. That's not his you voice. don't know that. He doesn't speak. He just goes, Ugh. Yeah, but he doesn't go, Ugh. I want you to have this, the article. It belongs with you now, friend. I like how you literally just complained about him not giving that to us as he was about to gift it to us nicely. Well, now we've gained it. So really, who's the winner here? Oh, Cotton, have you heard of the town Dundorma? No. It's Dundorma time! And then we Dundorma all over them! Okay. Look, Dundorma is one of the headquarters of the guild and it's very cool there and we're gonna go to it and it's gonna be very cool and you're gonna meet your new favorite character in all of Monster Hunter. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take you on a cool adventure to a cool place and you're gonna damn well like it. All right. And Dundalmo gets constantly attacked by monsters. That's kind of its thing. The Dragon Watcher are predicting an impending Elder Dragon attack. See, now you're learning a new branch of the guild, the Dragon Watch that keep tabs on Elder that's, Dragons. That's cool. So you just like use a dragon to tell time? Here's where you come in, Hunter. The Ace Commander has asked us to lend them a hand. By us, I mean you. Har. Okay, this might be a weird question. Do you get slight Mr. Krabs vibes from the Carabineer? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> no, I thought I thought that was to be assumed. Like, you could totally see the Carabineer doing the... Guildbarm is Spongebob, so... Oh, yeah! Is the man Patrick? I guess. It gets harder at that point. What the hoopla? Who says that? 
The customer is insane, man. I got to deal with this person. No, the customer's always right. <laughs> I was all ready to leave now that that Shagaruma Galimedes was gone, but no. This time, Arathian and Rathalos decided that scradoodling my only way out of town would be funny. Rudooling. It's not funny! I hate monster couples! <laughs> Understandable. Divorce me home, Hunter! Divorce me home! Normal conversations to have. How many times do I have to send you to hell? Oh no. Oh look, an urgent quest just for you. Never seen one of those before, I'm right. Uh, correct. On your plate this time is a Shagaru Magala. How did that happen? You don't get to be called an Elder Dragon unless you're a mystery wrapped in an enigma wrapped in a loaf of bread. Yeah, they just sort of did what they wanted with this game, didn't they? What? They really did just do what the hell ever they wanted with all of this dialogue. At all point. Like, why loaf of bread? Why not, though? Ooh, it's Shagaru Magala! Behold! I've never seen this monster or this place before, and definitely not at the same time. Isn't it crazy how we saved the world from Shagaru Megala, and our next urgent quest is Shagaru Megala? That's It's crazy. almost like you have an expert Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate guide with you, curating your journey to absolute perfection. That was a fun roar flinch. You should thank him and be, yay, veritably appreciative. He has attacked four times since I've last moved. What I'd suggest was more movement, less dying. I am trying. Look, I'll be honest, man. I feel like you're not engaging with the encounter at its gravitas. Well, uh, look behind the scenes here. Uh, you spent a bit getting yourself a Brute Tigrex Greatsword. During that, it would appear that my game has gotten even worse. So that's it's uh, it's not, not in a great spot right now. Ow, he does so much damage. And then he just, like, posed for me. Stop posing with your mouth open. If you're going to pose, close your mouth. There's a polite way to pose, and there's a non-polite way to pose. No one likes an open-mouthed poser. Seems a bit ambitious to try and speak for literally everyone. Everyone that's ever existed has been a human. Very dependent on what you believe everyone to mean. <laughs> Every human has been a human. Yes, they have. So, there you go. I can speak for everyone definitively. And also, if we ever get invaded by another life form. I will volunteer to speak for everyone, literally. Okay, good luck with that. I'm going to leave then, if that's the case. What the hell? Why, you're just like watching the invasion on TV and you see me walking up to the alien podium and you're like, well, you probably say something like, ye ha diddle a do. <laughs> that's so mean. Oh, you literally I... said those words earlier. Yeah, but I wouldn't say them to a potential alien overlord. Why would I be like, Greetings from Earth! He be dibble de dee Oh, Mr. but to a, what, to a Wyverian guildmaster, that's, that's a totally different concept. Well, the Wyverians aren't invading, Gotten! How are you supposed to know that at this point? I mean, if the spaceship got off the Wyverian and there was just little... If the Wyverians got off the spaceship <laughs> and there was just little Wyverians, like, beep, beep, trying to do us harm... Why I don't would they say beep, beep? I don't think we'd be in too much of an issue. Why would they beep, beep? Because they're aliens. Answer me. <laughs> Why look well like genuinely paid? Please answer me. I have to know your reasoning. I need to understand why this is going this way. Because that's like an alien sound noise, isn't it? Yeah, aliens beep. That's a, that's an alien thing. Well, what about their robots? It seems a bit alienist to assume they'd have robots in the first place. Surely a sufficiently advanced society would have robots to do their bidding. You know that we have space travel and not like actual robots. Yeah, but it's not like good space. We have the we have the Wright Brothers plane of space travel. Sure, but aliens could come here by just like accidentally flying through a black hole and just winding up here in a shitty spaceship. <laughs> a shitty spaceship! It would be funny to get that invaded by aliens world. that apart from the travel method are actually less advanced. We put this. every bit of effort ever into space travel. What is corn? <laughs> You will become our servant, so we will be forced to use our spears. <laughs> Don't make us bring out the fists. <laughs> we have tamed local quadrupedal animals, and we will ride them into battle. Connor, you're dead. No, I'm not. What? How did you get away with that? 
from my perspective, you stood on no health in the middle of multiple frenzy blasts. Yeah, I just, I just rolled, I dodged. Life isn't easy at 30% speed, but you know, I can see attacks coming <laughs> that, a long time. Is that your new t shirt? Life isn't easy at 30% speed. It's just the fact that as, as this session has gone on, the percentage has gotten worse and worse. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating, it's genuinely getting very molasses. I should point out at this point, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, from the next chapter of this glorious for you adventure onwards, wow. Cotton will be on a uh, significantly more powerful machine, so this in theory should never happen again, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, but also <laughs> worth mentioning, I'm on a pretty powerful machine. Emulators are not good at things. Ah, it's an okay lap. Let's not go crazy. Yeah, it's an okay laptop with a 3070. You know, and it's an okay. It, it's just as all right. As far as lappy tops go, okay. Let's. You know the irony? No one puts a laptop on their. Lap. Yes, they do. No. And one. then it's advised against because it gives radiation. Yeah, to but your that's nuts. what I'm saying. Like it's called something that you shouldn't well, do. Well, they didn't realize that until after they called it that, because doctors were like, it radiates your nuts, don't do that. <laughs> God, between painted and radiated nuts, there's a lot of like, nut problems in, in this uh, in this series. That's what life's about sometimes. Oh, what I gotta do to get his tail, man? Not me mounting. Ha ha! I told you I'd get it! You should have tried getting a bigger slice. That's like nothing. Yeah, no, I, my, my cut was very inaccurate. I'm sorry. Very shallow. Well, I didn't want to deprive him of his thick stuff. I think stump. you did. I think specifically that's what we wanted. Really, Shagger? Are you just going to charge over here? I feel like... I like that my debuff ticking up is also slowed down, so I've been generating Frenzy for longer than you had your entire Frenzy, and then also <laughs> then got your cleared Frenzy, and now you don't have Frenzy, and I still have the same thing being hit by the same attack you were. <laughs> Man, you're just living life in a different vibe to the rest of us, you know? <laughs> I definitely am. Come on, come on, don't flail, don't flail, don't flail, go down. Yes! All right, Cotton, bring an end to the frenzy and all of its bad badness. Yeah! No more okay. frenzy badness! Say it with me! No more frenzy badness. No more frenzy badness! Frenzy badness. No more frenzy... Say it with passion and he'll die! No more frenzy badness! Cotton, please. No more frenzy badness! You're ruining our- <laughs> Oh, sir. Oh, how is he not dead? Like, the amount of damage application that we have applied is monumental. And he just doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care at all, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Shagger. That's very polite of you. Like, oh right, I have taken enough damage, you're right. <laughs> My bad. Why are we only allowed to beat every hunt in this goddamn game with one cart remaining exactly? It's just the correct amount. So how do you like the original Megala fight, Shagaru style? Granted, it's pretty similar to the Generations Ultimate version. I was, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's about identical. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's about the, the greater gravitas, because you have the story this time. Giving it we already had we already had the story. This is we literally killed it as part of the story earlier, and then it's like, let's do it again. Now you've been bumped up to HI7. I think it's safe bet you're done with all the wobbly lottering once and for all. So don't let me down. <laughs> Congratulations, you've been promoted to HI7 exclusively for the cream of the crop hunter. Oh, that's exciting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, that's the stuff! My God! Oh, this you mind? Some... I'm right here. Oh, oh, look at you, little little orange, little orange cotton, not like good old powerful red me. Oh, oh, oh. What happens when you post the quest? Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm in so much pain. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, HR Seven achieves Shagarumagala Caravaneered. The next stage of the adventure is set as we head towards the summit. Like you enjoyed this, subscribe, hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, oh god.
Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye